Right then, so this is on the reverse Polish notation. So it's an unambiguous way of writing ma mathematical expressions without using brackets. So an infix notation, this is what we use, so 8 uh, times open bracket t plus y, close bracket. Uh, so it needs brackets in order to make any sense. Polish notation, though, avoids brackets by putting the operations before the operands. So it would be uh, the times then 2 plus ty. Reverse Polish notation puts the operands before the operators. So ty plus 2 times. So a nice way to convert between infix and uh, reverse Polish notation is to use a binary tree. So 8 times open bracket t plus y close bracket becomes with the times at the s as the root then to the left is the is 8 to the right so if you go back up to the tree to the root then to the right of the root that is the plus to the left of the plus is the t and to the right of the plus is the y so in order to get the the information back so using in order traverse gives us the infix notation so that's just going back up the thing so it will give us the 8 times t plus y and using post order transversal gives the uh, the reverse post notation so we've got it. so if you want to get the po uh, reverse polish you've got to use the post order which will give you the 8 t y plus then times at the end. Well then, so if you get a question asked to put a stack, so put a reverse polish in a stack, so if you have uh, open, so if you have open bracket 6, open bracket 4, uh, uh, space 5, close bracket, close bracket, minus open bracket 25, divided by open bracket 2 plus 3, close bracket, close bracket, it becomes 6, 4, 5 plus times 25, 2, 3 plus divide. So the steps are, so you have to put the 6, 4 and 5 is pushed onto the stack. 5 is then popped off the stack and and then it adds those, it adds 5 and 4 together, and then it loads the answer to the stack. So 5 plus 4 equals 9, so 9 is now on the stack. So on the stack is the 9 and 6. So then it pops 9 off the stack, and 6 off the stack, and it multiplies them together then it loads that answer back onto the stack so 9 times 6 is 54 so now you've just got 54 on the stack it this it then pushes from the actual co from the um uh represent the value so it puts the value uh, 25 2 and 3 onto the stack which is from the actual equation expression actually I think it's meant to be called now it pops 3 and 2 off the stack and adds them together then it places the result onto the stack so 2 plus 3 equals 5 so now the new thing is that it is, goes 5 25 54 so now it, it pops off 25 and 5 off the stack and divides them, then places the result back onto the stack. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. So now on the stack you have 5 and 54. Last step, so step 7, it pops 54 off and 5 off the stack, then subtracts them, so placing the result on, then placing the result back on the stack. So 54 minus 5 is 49 so the answer to that equation is 49 so you might get a question on the binary tree and then reverse polarization 
So you've got the 645 plus times 25 minus 2 and 3 plus then divide. So the steps that you take is you have to traverse the left subtree until there isn't one. Traverse the right subtree if there is one. Resit, uh, revisit the root at the current branch. Repeat one, two, and repeat one, two, and three until each node has been visited. This is called post-order algorithm. The algorithm is an example of recursion because it repeats the same set of actions at every node. To get the expression, use an algorithm called pre-order algorithm. Visit the root node, visit the left branch, then visit the right branch. branches. So here's an example where you have to get the post orders, you have to go back up it. So the steps are you start at root, you go down to the left of the branch, so the minus, then then there's the times which you go you keep going down so until there is no right branch of the node. So you then you get to six and then you store. 6. Now you go back to the previous one, so the times, and go to the right, which is plus. Since you have already visited the left, and go to the left until no right branches, so you store 4. Go back to the previous node, which is plus, and go to the right, and then you store 5 since you have already visited the left. Then you go back to the previous node, plus, you store plus, then you go back to the previous node, which was times, and then you store the times. You go back to the previous node, minus, and go to the right branch until no left or right branches on the node. So then that gives you 25, so you store 25. You go back to the previous mo uh, node, which is minus, and you store minus then. So you store minus, then you go back to the previous root. So you go back to the previous node, which was the root, which was divide. Then you go to the right, since you have already visited the left, and you've got all the information you want off there. And you go from node pos the plus to the left unit so yeah uh, and go from node plus to the left until no right branches so then you get two and you store two then you go back to the previous node which was plus and then you go to the right branch and store three then you go back to the previous node plus and you store plus then you go back to the previous node which was the root which then is the divide and then you store divide. So now you have the uh, thing, so it's and it's six four then five then it is plus then times then it is twenty five then it is minus two three it is plus then divide. Right, and so the next video on this will just be the questions for programming techniques.